Stop. The first rule of COVID-free newscast. Never talk about COVID. Do you want art, fashion, everything flamboyant and witty? We will give it to you on a silver plate or on an ancient Greek dish 2000 years BC. Milena, covering arts. In a time of uncertainty, oddly enough, the art market is flourishing and has acquired new forms. Many exhibitions, premieres, festivals have been postponed or cancelled, but fortunately the art world has developed new venues for itself, mostly online. So, despite the economic crisis, auctions and sales of objects of foreign arts are breaking all records. The painting by British street artist Banksy, Love in the Trash Can, was sold at Sotheby's for uh, $25.4 million and became the artist's most expensive work. Russian calligrapher Arseniy Pozhenkov, known as Pakras Lampas, created a duck for the Waves Ducks blockchain game and sold it for almost $55,000. In February, the painting Every Day, the first 5,000 days, was sold for the first time by Christie's in its 255-year history for a record $69 million. Bipley, a creative name of Mike, entered the top three most expensive living artists. He had been creating the NFT piece of art daily for 13 years. One of the most significant events in the art world was done to Vision of Art in March. In celebration of the 700th anniversary of the death of Dante Alighieri, the Uffizi Gallery opened a grand exhibition at the uh, San Dominico Museum in Forli. Summer was marked by the comeback of uh, festivals around the world. Edinburgh Festival Fringe, Salzburg Festival, Arena di Verona were held after a break of a year. People were delighted to enjoy dramatic and operatic art. One of the symbols of France, the Triumphal Arch, was converted into an installation in September. It was organized by the rel relatives of the Bulgarian conceptual artist Christo. Within a few days, the 50-meter monument was completely wrapped in fabric with a total area of 25,000 square meters. The project cost was about 14 million euros. Some great openings happened this year. The Mark Museum has been, had been uh, preparing for the opening for 13 years. This is one of the most largest uh, museum in the world dedicated to one artist. The museum is five times bigger than the old one, so you haven't seen as much monk as you have now. We also have uh, some fresh news for Muscovites. In December, the guest to House of Culture was opened. It is housed in a historic building renovated by the architectural firm Renzo Piano. This had been the main highlights in art during 2021. I'm such a hard worker that all I read is introductions for reporters. But Katya is a real cinema goer and a bookworm. She will cover literature and cinematography. The cultural component of our world is gradually reviving. This year there have been quite a few major events dedicated to literature and cinema. For example, the 93rd Oscar ceremony, for the second time surprising us with South Korean cinema, was held in offline format only for a narrow circle of nominees. The rest were invited to watch the online broadcast of the award. The Pulitzer Prize had to be delayed by two months so that the 18 councillors could confirm on the selection of the winners in person rather than remotely. However, the announcement of the laureates went online. As for cinemas and book exhibitions, there was some good news here as well. Cinemas and are reopened to the public. Now you can watch movies on big screens complying a special seating arrangements. Book fairs and festivals are even better. In 2021, two major book exhibitions took place, the Moscow International Book Fair and the Red Square Book Festival. And now to the literary world. In April, the book Lara and the Sun by British writer Kazuro Inshiguro, winner of the 2017 Nobel Prize in Literature, was published in Russian. And this was his first book in four years. There is a new novel by Viktor Pelevin, Transhumanism Inc. This is the author's first novel in stories. Do you hear the rhyme, the groove, the balalaika? Our MC Vitalik will cover music. This year was eventful for the music industry. Now I will present the main of them. 
Daft Punk announced their split with eight minutes music video called Epilogue. The band went from the underground uh, French pop experiments to the most popular and influential electronic artists. The group also worked with such musicians as The Weeknd, Kanye West and Janet Jackson. The DJ from Kazakhstan became a Grammy winner for his remix Roses by St. John. Before the remix became popular, Imanbek had been a worker at the rail station in his hometown. Now he is one of the most popular DJs in the world. Eurovision results. Italian rock band Moneskin had uh, won the Eurovision contest and became one of the most popular uh, and successful artists of uh, 2021. The Russian artist Manija made a performance with a feminist subtext and took the ninth place in the contest. American rapper Kanye West presented a new album that he had been working on for two years. The artist postponed the release date several times. Before the drop, he had presented the album at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for five times, making changes to the album after every presentation. The 64th annual Grammy Awards will be held on January. The list of nominators, nom nominees consists of uh, such names as Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodriguez, Kanye West, Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift. Adele and Eximeron released new albums. Russian and British artists presented their first albums for the last six years. Both has commercial success and the sales records. Impeccable style, grace, fancy clothes. These are the things I do not own, but our fashionista Nina does, covering fashion. This year brought fashion losses. Two significant designers died. Albert Alpash, who recreated the format of Lanvin and made it focus mainly on women's fashion, died in April from COVID. His dresses were favored by Hollywood actresses, including Natalie Portman and Meryl Streep. Virgil Abloh, the fashion designer who founded Louis Vuitton's of white label, died on November 28 after losing a two-year battle with cancer. Along with the losses, this year was full of sparkle fashionable events. The Federation de la Haute Couture at de la Mode created a dedicated platform for Fashion Week to allow them to be held online. The most significant event of this Fashion Week was the presentation of Kim Jones' collection. Fendi News head of women's wear presented transparent crystal decorated dresses. The runaway was started was started by Kate Moss, Hyodata and Demi Moore. The French fashion house MS in collaboration with Californian startup Mika Vox will start producing bags using eco leisure clothes from mycelium, thin threads from the root system of mushrooms. Adidas filed suit against Tom Brown over street uh, trademarks. Adidas argued that Brown's branding somehow imitates the three stripes, despite the two companies existing in pretty different markets. The lawsuit is still in development, although the brand's management, Tom Brown, calls for the abandonment of legal claims. Iris Apfel turns 100. Iris Apfel is a recognized style icon, icon American businesswoman in interior designer. In business with her husband Carl from uh, 1950 to 1992, Apfel led a career in textiles, including a contract with the White House that spent nine presidencies. The traditional bell of uh, the Costume Art Institute, Met Gala, was held in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. This year, the organizers were inspired by the exhibition in America, A Lexicon of Fashion, which had been opened in Metropolitan earlier. Vogue Paris celebrated the 100th anniversary of the magazine. The magazine celebrated its uh, century a uh, year late due to the pandemic. They made a festive uh, retrospective exhibition at the Paris Fashion and Costume Museum of Gallia. Ellie magazine refused to use animal fur in shooting. French fashion magazine Ellie was the uh, first major publication house in fashion industry to announce rejection of animal fur, banning a fur not only in editorial materials but also in advertising. In the fall winter 2021, such season the first collection created in collaboration with the Lure because become available in the UT line. As part of a collaboration, new models will appear until 2024.
St. Regis Hotel, Lamborghini, red carpets and organic breakfast before Pilates. That doesn't describe my lifestyle, but our reporter Dashen knows all about it, covering celebrities. In February we got to know that the six-year marriage of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, one of the most popular and powerful celebrity couple, was coming to end. Kim Kardashian officially filed for divorce from her husband and is seeking joint custody of their four children. In March, Oprah Winfrey hosted a special TV interview with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry where they spilled the gust about the royal family. Conversations about how dark their baby's skin tone would be, a rift between Prince Harry and his father, and Meghan saying she just didn't want to be alive anymore. In July, Spider-Man stars Tom Holland and Zendaya were spotted making out in a car in Los Angeles after years of denying dating rumors. In September, Britney Spears was finally deemed to be a competent adult again after 30 years of uh, custody and uh, treating as an infant. The custody of Britney Jean Spears is no longer required. Los Angeles County Superior Court judge ruled. In October, Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid broke up after six years together on and off. The news comes after Yolanda the Hadid, Gigi's mother, was uh, considering filing a police report against Malik for striking her. Malik told the outlet he immediately denied Yolanda's false allegations that he struck her. Sometimes I'm happy that I'm not familiar with puppets and Instagram reels. What about our trendsetter Alessa? Let's hear the trends. Thank you, Anya. Surely 2021 trends had a lot to do with social media. In February, Clubhouse gained a peak of popularity while in Russia, filthy language was banned from using the network. This enactment doesn't really work. In October, worldwide failure of social media, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp occurred that affected millions of users and caused the branding of Zuckerberg's empire to meta. What falls beside the internet? People on e-scooters. Accident has become three times more frequent this year. Since June, in Russia, e-scooters' highest permitted speed is 25 km per hour. What has been really fast this year is space exploration. In April, Elon Musk's spacecraft Dragon Crew launched a flight. In July, Jeff Bezos with other passengers accomplished the first ever touristic space voyage. In October, Russian director Klim Shipenko and actress Yulia Perisilt set off from Baikonur to film the first movie Beyond the Earth. LGBTQ society was very active in May and July. In spring, Scandalous promotion by Fukusville was released. Two months later, in Georgia, the first Pride Parade took place. Unfortunately, both events didn't end well for participants. I'd finish our program with some positive news from domestic medicine. First in the world, Siberian doctors made four bionic processes for a dog. Another great achievement is registration in Russia of Spinraza, Zolgensma and Rizdipalm, drugs that heal from neuromuscular disorder, the disease when one can't walk or even move at all. Almost all the reporters succeeded in following no COVID rule. I hope the next year will be COVID free as well. And now let's add some Christmas mood. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've got no way to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.